Hola Cafeños, we are Cafe Con Leche Travels, I'm David and I'm Travis and today we are heading to San Miguel de Allende. Can't believe it's finally happening. We are leaving Querétaro, which we are very sad about. Very sad. But we will be back. We will be back. For sure. So let's go. That he's not gonna fall asleep on this bus. It's only an hour. I think I can do that. This place is cool. It is, it is a vibe. It's got this cool black and white situation happening with this cool art behind us. There's art all over. It looks comfy. It looks like it's in the center of everything. So we're a couple of blocks from the main church. We can actually see it out the window. So I think we did good. Yeah. We did spend a little bit more than we usually do. But it's worth it. Yes. San Miguel, I think overall, is gonna be a little pricier than our normal adventures. <laughs> yeah, but we knew this was a Puebla that we needed to come to. We're mentally prepared to spend a little more. And now, as always, we're gonna go eat because I'm starving. Yes. This is at home sick, so I am trying to get over my fear of going to places by myself. So I just discovered this amazing park here in San Miguel, so I'm gonna go walk around. Shout out to all you solo travelers out there. Have a respect for you. Being in an unfamiliar space alone, it takes some guts. So I commend you.
Okay, I was taken out for a night. <laughs> but it helped me face my fears of going out alone, and I just got to see this beautiful place at night. So after 12 hours, I am back. I'm human, and we're exploring San Miguel. And it is incredible. It feels like a movie set. Yeah, like, it really does. It's a UNESCO World Heritage site, the whole city, and you can just, everything is so pristine and gorgeous. We are here in the Botanical Garden and it is very high up and it's full of cacti. Yeah, it's not, I guess, your typical botanical garden, what you think of. It's a lot of succulents and cacti. It is huge though. We've been yeah. on walking on this path, beautiful in the mountains. We are a 45 minute walk outside of Centro, specifically where we are staying in Centro, and it is all uphill. So we started to walk and then we're like, let's take a taxi because it closes at five, which seemed like a great idea. I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna get back because it doesn't seem like taxis just roam around up here. <laughs> But it could be a fun walk downhill. Yeah, and you guys, the roads here are cobblestone and it is a bumpy, 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 bumpy ride. But that's kind of like the charm of the city. And the views up here are nuts. I feel like the camera is not capturing how big and scary <laughs> this spider that we just walked under is, but he has, he or she, she? How is she? I read Charlotte's Web. She has 58 smaller insects caught in her web and is just sitting in the middle like, whose web is this? Yeah, so if you are scared of spiders or bugs, then just be warned. There are plenty flying in your face. And it's not crawl. that buggy. I mean, they're bugs. There's little grasshoppers that will jump on your leg. This feels so nice to get in. This feels so nice though to get like into nature. Are you okay? <laughs> There's just gnats in my face. Oof, and coming like right in the afternoon too, it's like a cool breeze. Feels amazing. It's interesting to look out and see like where we're staying and then to know like beyond that, it's just this beautiful landscape of these rocks and cacti and these insects. It's just, nature is cool. This entire land is named after El Chan, who is this mythical creature who lives in the underworld. And when you approach the waters, which are shown down there, then it shows its power. The water changes color during the year, and its source is a natural spring here in San, San Miguel de Allende. I think one of the last ones. And that is so cool, and that is why nature is so cool, because there's always some kind of cool story behind it. So I think botanical gardens might be a bit of a misnomer, at least my understanding of it. This is more like a nature reserve and a really cool area to hike around and just enjoy, you know? Okay, 
we found our wedding spot. Although there are grasshoppers. Mating. Like a lot of them all over this thing. We just took oh. like all these nice pictures and then I was like, what are these? Oh, <laughs> it's the birds and the bees and the grasshoppers. And the tree. <laughs> We're not the only ones to find this place romantic. <laughs> Apparently not. Nature's so cool. <laughs> So we took a taxi up here and now we have to walk all the way down because there are no cars that come up here unless they're going, I mean, to a house or to drop someone off at the botanical garden. These are some beautiful properties we're walking by. Oh my gosh. Some. So San Miguel de Allende is wealth. Especially up here, my God. Yeah, because the views are insane. That's where Rapunzel let her hair down. Just some casual sheep. This morning we're excited because we get to go on a walking tour and learn all about the history of San Miguel. And what's cool about this walking tour is the proceeds of the money that you pay goes to local children to get dental work done. They've helped thousands of children in and around San Miguel. It's an amazing organization. So we'll link all their information below. Let's go. That was an amazing walking tour led by an awesome tour guide named Dali. He's certified, he was so knowledgeable. I feel like all the tour guides we get, I just wanna hear them talk for days and days and days. Cause you know, they're only giving you like a snippet of what they know and we won't spoil the whole thing for you. So you should come and go on the tour. But my favorite part was he told us about a church that was run by a group of Franciscan friars. It took them like a hundred years to build. And then a new group of Franciscan friars joined the friary and the old friars were kind of like, who are these young upstarts? They're too loud. And the young friars to raise money to build a new church actually arranged bullfights in the square in front of the church. And eventually they became matadors themselves, which is hilarious to me. But this eventually conflicted with their obvious vow of poverty because they were becoming these like <laughs> famous bullfighters. <laughs> and so they had to shut the whole thing down. Uh, my favorite part was there's another church that the facade up front of it has like this big shell on the front and it was donated by this nice wealthy family that I was here. And on the front of it was the, you know, like on the dollar of the pyramid with the eye on top, which originally started from the Egyptians, the eye of Horus. And then it transitioned into the Catholics using it as the all seeing eye of God. And and uh, then it was uh, transferred into using it for the Freemasons and the Illuminati. I'm sure you've heard of them. And someone stole the eye that was on top of this uh, facade because they didn't want 
anyone to think that San Miguel de Allende was associated with the Freemasons or the Illuminati. So it was stolen, no one knows where it went, no one knows when it was taken, no one knows who took it, but they do not want to be associated with the Illuminati. Not in San Miguel. I don't blame them because... But the whole thing was super interesting and it was just great to know that all of the proceeds were going to help local children get access to healthcare. So that's just like two birds, one stone. You get a great historic tour of downtown and you get to contribute to the local community. All in the most perfect weather. Just. Every day, it's just like no clouds, beauty, sunshine, amazing. But now we need to go find food because we are starving. Yes. We just stumbled into Casa Rocket thinking it was a vegan restaurant. It used to be, but the pandemic, she has changed it into a co-working space. And it is a dream. There's a dog, there is sunshine, there's beautiful jazz music playing. And they offer food with a local restaurant and it looks delicious. So if you're in San Miguel de Allende and looking for a spot to connect, to get some Wi-Fi with a day pass, that is 150 pesos. And that comes with free coffee and a biscuit. told to come check out La Fabrica de Aurora, which is an old factory that has been turned into kind of like an artist's co-op. Yeah, so let's check it out. This place is huge and such a great way to spend an afternoon wandering around looking at art. There are all different types of art, woodworking and sculptures and oil paintings, and just outdoor stuff and indoor stuff. People are creative. A little outside our budget at this moment in time, but hopefully one day we'll be able to come back and drop a couple hundred thousand pesos on some of these works. <laughs> You guys, we, we... We've had the best time. I'm just, I'm honestly tired of being charmed at this point. <laughs> I would like Mexico, please stop. Because I just would for once like to go somewhere and be like, it's not, it's not it. Everywhere's beautiful, everywhere's magical. All the people, everything. <laughs> I but, can't even like form a sentence, it's so great. San Miguel, we have truly enjoyed. Hopefully you saw that in the last couple days that we've spent here. We do have one more surprise coming in an upcoming video. It's gonna be a good one. So if you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Subscribe, hit the like, all the YouTube things, but get on board. Now. 
We want to send a special shout out to our new Patreons, Stephanie, Marilyn, Scott, Tim, and Polly. Thank you guys so much for being our new patrons. That is awesome. And if you're not a patron yet, join our Patreon. You can sign up on our website, CafeConLecheTravels.com. There's a link below. And when you join, you become a member of the Cafeino crew, a private group where you get exclusive access to us and your fellow Cafeinos. So get in here. Do it. What are you waiting for? Now. We come out with new videos every Thursday, so make sure you do all of the YouTube things. All right, here comes our tagline. Hasta luego. We'll see you next time.